This is my Canon EOS M cinema rig. The $150 cinema camera that shoots 14-bit RAW, 5K, 4K, 2K. Now, stay tuned for the rest of the video because I'm going to go through each and every part of this rig. Now, the cage that I have is the Easy Hood cage, and it is made for the Canon EOS M50, and I believe the EOS M5, if I'm not mistaken. I personally feel that it fits perfectly, like around the Canon EOS M, and also, like just the different uh, mounts that it has. It has the quarter inch holes, so you can screw in the handle. It also has a 3 8 inch holes on the top so you can put in the top handle. Another thing I love about this cage is that it has a hand grip right here. So as everybody knows, like the Kenny USM, it has like a little hand grip, but it's not really useful. But this hand grip right here on the right, I definitely can grip it and feel comfortable gripping it just with one hand. So that's another pro about this cage. Any and everything that I show in this video, you guys can go down to the description and purchase it through the Amazon affiliate link. And I will get a small commission at no further expense to you. And it helps me a lot, helps the channel a lot. So please go ahead and do that. Thank you. This cage comes with a cold shoe mount. So it has one cold shoe mount, as you can see right there. And yeah, I feel like this cage is pretty sturdy, has great quality. It has many ports for you to screw in different things that you may want to add on to your rig. This handlebar right here is the UU rig handlebar. Now I use this for my other camera, which I'm filming on right now, which is my Sony a7 III. I specifically bought this for my Sony a7 III, as well as this top handle. They just so happen to work for this cage, so that's perfect. I didn't have to buy like a separate handle and a separate top handle for this camera because as we all know, videography, filmmaking, photography is a really expensive hobby. So being able to repurpose all the gear that we have as much as possible is the best thing to do. So I'm really grateful for that. And with this uh, with this handle right here, I love it because it's like, it fits perfectly with my hand. Like, I guess my hand's like pretty average, if not a little above average, but it fits perfectly and I feel comfortable holding it I don't feel that it's going to fall or it's going to disconnect from the cage or anything like that. So that's a really good feature for me. And also it comes with a tool at the bottom. So right here, you see, and this is for like, if you want to mount this handle on the other side, so you'll just disconnect, screw that, unscrew it, and then put the screws on the other side and then be able to have this handle on this side. So that's another cool thing. Also, it has a cold shoe mount right here and some quarter inch holes right there. So. It's magnetic at the bottom for the tool. So you just put it in, in at the bottom and then boom. Another thing that I like about this cage is that it has a space for the battery. So you don't have to take the cage off in order to open the battery. Like the, you can open the battery, take the battery out, replace the battery with no problem. You see, pop it back in and the cage still intact, no problem. Like I said, the top handle, I got this for my Sony a7 III, but it also works for this because it has the 3 8 inch hole. This top handle has a few cold shoe mounts. I want to say maybe about like four. Like has one, like two on top, one right there, one right there, and then one right here, and then one right here. As you all know, Amazon have a great return policy, so you can buy it. If you don't like it, return it within 30 days, get your money back. So. Sometimes that's how I uh, test out gear. The monitor that I'm using is the Andy Cine 4K A6 Pro monitor. Now, one of the things that I love about this monitor and that I use mostly from this monitor is the false colors. Like it really does allow me to be able to see my exposures more accurately. And this monitor does a great job at doing that. And also what I love is like, uh, it has a uh, focus peaking it also has the, the grids, it has a center marker, it has the picture quality. It's really well. You can also import LUTs into the monitor so that when you're filming, you can see how your footage is gonna be looking. Now, I haven't done that yet for myself, but that's a great feature just to know about and just to have. When I first purchased my Andy Cine Cinema 4K monitor, 
I want to say I paid just a little under $200, but now you can buy this for, I want to say $149, $159. And then they also have like a $10 coupon that you can add on to that. So you get it for like $149 or $139. So I would definitely go ahead and cop one of these before that coupon is gone. But that's a really great price for this monitor. Yo, real quick, I just want to take some time out to acknowledge my sponsor. Now I know some of y'all may be thinking, Hold on, he barely have 200 subscribers and he already have a sponsor? Yeah, I do. So the sponsor for this video, but also sponsored this channel and sponsored my life is J-E-S-U-S. -S. Yeah, y'all heard it right, Jesus. Now, just to be able to have the opportunity to be able to share my gift with y'all and just being able to post all these videos and everything, like none of this would have been possible without him. Like I've been through a lot. I'm grateful that I don't look like what I've been through. Like I've been homeless. My mom passed away a couple years back and yet I'm still here. I'm not hooked on drugs or alcohol and it's all because of him. So I just want to give him just the glory real quick and let's get back to the video. The batteries that I use. So these are the F970 battery, I believe. Now this monitor came with one of these, but like a, it was like much smaller. I don't have it close by right now, but it was much smaller and the battery lasted not too not too long so i purchased some more of these on amazon and i have a link also down in the description and uh, it came with two of them and they last like i feel like forever like i've been using these for a minute and i still haven't gone straight through one within one shoot yet another thing i love about these batteries is that i use them not only for the monitor but these are the same batteries i use for my lights so the HDMI cable that I use for the monitor going into my Canon EOS M. It's a HDMI to HDMI mini. Yeah, right here. The memory card that I'm using for my Canon EOS M is the SanDisk Extreme Pro 128 gigabyte. And this one was recommended by Zeke, of course. And yeah, I've been I've been enjoying it. I haven't had any problems uh, with this uh with this memory card. Although I know um, my video I did last week where I shot 5K FRTP continuously for over 15 minutes. I did have like two, like, I guess like glitches or ping frames, but other than that, like there's no problem. Something that I sometimes do, depending on how I'm shooting, like I'll use this hand grip. Now this hand grip, I also bought from Amazon. It's a UU rig hand grip and I just mount this right on the bottom. Now, kind of give you like an old school look. I like how sturdy this, uh, this hand grip is. Like it holds up pretty well and it's pretty comfortable and give you variation of when you're shooting everything. The lens that I use on my Canon EOS M is the Nikkor 24 millimeter F2.8. I've been using this lens on, I wanna say 90% of the videos that I posted so far from my Canon EOS M on my channel. And this lens is a beast. I was blessed with this lens because someone gave it to me along with some other lenses and some cameras and it's pretty sharp. This lens came out probably over 30, 40 years ago and it's holding up pretty well. In order to use this lens on the Canon EOS M, I need to have an adapter. So the adapter that I use is the Photo-C Nikon to EOS M lens adapter. Same thing with that adapter, like it works pretty well, no problems. Oh, and also like for y'all wondering, like what my shirt says, my life is private and Ryan blessed me with this shirt and I really like the shirt because like when I first saw it I thought it was somebody else's clothing line but it's actually his and I really love the message on it because I really don't like doing social media like that or even when I do I don't like posting stuff and posting on social media all your private life and everything but the name of his uh, line is no surveillance I have a link down in the description if you want to go ahead and purchase some gear I'm Christian Najee Brown peace